What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jonathan. I'm excited about Survivor Series and what we've been learning in Surviving Pharaoh, what we learned this week. And I hope you saw it, but even if you didn't see it, I just wanna let you know that God wants to take responsibility. He wants you to let go and let him do what only he can do. And that's what Jochebed did, Moses' mother. She showed us in the text that when she could no longer hide Moses, when she could no longer hold on to him, she put him in a wicker basket, translated ark, put him in the hands of God and put that baby in the place of disaster. And that place of disaster in the hands of God became the place of deliverance. That place where others were dying was the place where her baby was surviving. You see, Pharaoh wants to take your destiny. He wants to take your purpose. He wants to take your ministry. He wants to take your marriage. He wants to take your business. He wants to take anything that God has conceived in you that you have given birth to. He wants to rip it from you because he wants to keep you enslaved to hopelessness, enslaved to faithlessness, enslaved to doubt. He wants you to stay stagnant. And he does that by taking what you've given birth to. So what do you do? You let go when the burden gets too heavy and you put it in the hands of God who has a much stronger mighty right hand than both of Pharaoh's hands combined. And that's what we need to do. We need to listen to our grandmother who told us, let go and let God, okay? Get the study guide on ocbfchurch.org forward slash study guide so that you can rehearse it with your family, friends, small groups, and continue to grow. Let's learn, grow, and achieve together. Amen.